differences it looks almost just like the first one but the major difference is obviously uh, the addition of a third theater and of course the movie itself uh, but yeah it's pretty much the same we got Soren logo here this is obviously new Soren around the world I'm guessing the third theater has uh, really cut down on wait times it's about a 45 minute wait time, standby. That is much shorter than it used to be, so I'm sure the third theater has really helped uh, with these wait times. So yeah, the, uh, I guess the queue line is about the same. I think we got new carpet in here, which looks cool. And it's pretty much the same. The standby has some kind of game that you can play. It's called the Soren Challenge. That looks pretty cool. When I uh, last was here, instead of having this on the uh, screen, they just had the Soren logo. Uh, so they were slowly switching it over. Actually, the last time I was here, uh, it was after the refurbishment, and so they were still, they still had um, this all redone, and they were basically ready for the new ride, but they were still showing the old version just for like a week more. So that was kind of cool, but I didn't actually get to see the brand new one. And I'm so excited, I cannot wait. I'm just like thrilled. So it looks like in the uh, standby uh, queue, they have questions and answers, like little trivia questions, stuff like that. Pretty cool. We have no idea how they calculate that or what they do. Storm challenge. They used to have like uh, little games where you could just like jump up and see yourself. Now it's trivia questions. And this used to not be all carpet, but now it's all carpet. I would say true. Let's see if I get it right. Yeah, it's true. Cool. Very short. Um, looks like I'm going to be going down Conquer C, the new one. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, it smells good in here. So this is the new theater, Conquer C. Of course, they have A and B. Um, I'm going to try to ride it 
in this one and at least one of the other ones to see if there's a big difference because uh, I think they upgraded all of them of course and then when they added this one they upgraded it um, but I don't know if like this one's the best probably Looks like we have a uh, new video here instead of the older video which uh, featured clouds and different uh, locations throughout the clouds. This one's more of a geographical uh, approach but it looks really cool. If there's one thing I hope they didn't get rid of, I really hope they didn't get rid of the uh, orange fields. If they did that, I would be devastated. But we'll see. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a good camera, though. Yeah. Store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. <laughs> Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. Soon you will be here. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Alright guys, throw the three to follow me. Yeah. Have a nice one. Alright. Check it out, this is the brand new third theater. I know it kind of looks the same as the other ones, but it actually looks a lot nicer from what I remember.
smells. Smells like this. China. setting and you don't even think about a screen or anything like with the old one and wow just everything about uh, the new Soren thumbs up really good but wow just so much better like wow that was amazing the Taj Mahal um, the Epcot scene at the end with the fireworks instead of Disneyland and then especially the Paris scene everything is so immersive that was amazing I'm still gonna do it again that was really really good um, you know that might be better than te I, I'm gonna say that's better than test track much better because wow they did an amazing job and by the way this hallway smells so good it's like brand new it almost has like like that fresh car smell so it's just really really good it smells really fresh and wow like almost like leather kind of uh, new car smell but anyways yeah Holy moly, that was good. I give it a thumbs up. Definitely do it. You you can't skip it at Epcot. It is a must do, especially since they added the third theater where now uh, there's like a short wait time. Well, pretty short for standby uh, compared to what it used to be. So definitely worth it. 100% worth it. Definitely. I mean, wow, guys, that was amazing. And hold on, I gotta go back and smell this hall. This hallway smells awesome. This long and narrow hallway is for the third theater exit. It smells great in here. But yeah, um, 
by far just awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, I, I'm like I said, I'm speechless. I don't know how to describe how amazing that was. You gotta experience it in person. Pretty crazy. So that I believe is the exit from the third theater. I just exited, and then these are the two other exits from the other theaters. Pretty crazy. Oh, and by the way, when you exit this one, I think this is the second con or uh, concourse B. You can see uh, some of the interactive games from up there. Holy moly, guys! Though, amazing. They did take out the orange scene, but they replaced it with some other cool scenes. And there are still cool smells from this ride. So yeah. Soren was phenomenal. Just an awesome overall, amazing ride. Really enjoyed it. Seasons for lunch. Very excited. Okay, guys, so here at Seasons, this is what I got. I got a piece of rotisserie chicken, uh, some mashed potatoes, and some mac and cheese. And it came up to like $13, so it was not very cheap, but um, I also got a water cup. And check out, they have these new plates, right? And they have Disney quotes on them. So here's one, if you can dream it, you can do it. Um, and then the cup says it's fun, uh, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. So yeah, um, new plates, you know, new cups. Um, that's the holiday cup over there. If I go ahead and grab it, that is a holiday cup. But uh, yeah, they have new plates and cups. The old design kind of looked like this. It just said Disney Parks and it had that. But uh, I kind of like the new design. It's kind of generic, you know. Every three or four years they update the plates and cups and all that kind of stuff. But this is cool, kind of cool. Okay guys, I'm gonna head off to Living With The Land Now, which is right over there across from Soren. Time for Living With The Land, which says 20 minutes for the wait time, so not too bad. I actually remembered I actually have a fast pass for this ride coming up, so I'm just going to wait and use fast pass. Time for Living with the Land. I love this ride. It's a very educational ride, but it's still pretty cool. The beginning is nice. Is that a bird? There's a bird in here. Yeah, it's very educational and you learn a lot about agriculture and all that kind of stuff.
More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it... Thank you for one, yeah. Look at all those fish. Look, they have uh, Christmas lights up here too. But fish farming for our culture accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and captain's own. We're able to save millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this week can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests and still protect natural resources. in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, we well, check it out. We got Mickey. is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient pool system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year. If by growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. Innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants. And the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to better quality plants. So living with the land was pretty cool. I wish I could do it at night though. I don't think they even have the ride open at night. That would be so cool to do it at night. See all the plants like in the dark. So the standby wait time is only 35 minutes for Songrin. So I'm gonna go ahead and ride it again, because why not? Yeah. All right, here we go. Soren again.
takes his hand off. We're now boarding. Check it out, everyone. Be cool. Sorry. It's quiet in here. Our final systems check. Please don't walk through the United States under seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Even because I'm going to have my yellow screen, right? You can. See, you guys do everything different. Right on the other side of the board. Seatbelt, seatbelt, hold it right side. Hold it.
unfasten your seatbelt. Just push down on the red button on your right. Leaving Seasons or the Land Pavilion. Here is the Land Pavilion, and I'm probably going to come back tomorrow because uh, I think I have a breakfast at the Garden Grill. So I'm probably going to come back here tomorrow and whatnot. And yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I'm probably going to go look at the line for Test Track, and if it's uh, not too long, I'll probably do that. Uh, but if Test Track has a long wait, I'm going to come back and do the Seeds with Nemo and friends. Um, but otherwise, I'm gonna try to do test track. It's actually a really nice day out right now. I don't see any clouds. I spent like the last hour or so or more in the land pavilion, so now I'm outside and the weather looks great. I also have to hit up World Showcase. I'm definitely gonna walk around all the countries, uh, go into the shops, uh, get some snacks, all that kind of cool stuff. So, yeah. Oh, check it out. It is really looking nice today. Awesome. This is why I moved to Florida, the palm trees. Well, one of the reasons. Here's the uh, Fountain View Starbucks. So I'm gonna go there a little bit later on. I'll show it to you guys. And then uh, we got some kind of musical performance going on over here. Time for Club Cool. Wow, they have tons of decorations in here. They really are decorating the parks. Nice. <laughs> so here are the different flavors. Don't recommend that one. Just don't do that one. The rest are fine. Yeah. You just grab a cup here, and then you can start pouring whatever you want. They also have snacks and stuff you can buy, and of course drinks. This costs money, but uh, everything else is free. I tried many of these at Disney Springs at their uh, Coca-Cola store when I bought a whole tray, but uh, I don't remember which one I actually liked. There's one of them that wasn't too bad, but I don't remember which one. It might be this one from Japan. I'll try it. We'll see if it's any good. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This one's pretty good. It's, uh, which one is it again? I have no idea how you say that. To be honest, it doesn't really taste like Coke. It just tastes like, uh, juice. It's really good. I don't really drink soda myself, so... I haven't in years, but uh, that one is kind of like more of a juice and it's not really a soda. I got one of these when I was at the uh, Disney Springs store. I think they're like $30, but right now I actually have it in my dorm room and the change is like about up to here. I have a long way to go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever vlogged it since I got it, but yeah, change is like up to here and uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Got some of these uh, Christmas necklaces. I have some on my car. Probably go back out and get it for tonight. Um, but yeah, they also make it in red. I have no idea what this new Coca-Cola is. It's called Coca-Cola Life. Do you guys know what it is? It's literally, they just add life. I don't know what that means. If it's an actual different drink. But yeah, they have all kinds of different merchandise in here, even like uh, toy uh, trucks and whatnot. So come in here, check it out, it's pretty cool. By the way, it's completely free. You don't have to pay, like it's just you walk in, you get as many drinks as you want. 